morning everybody we are on the trail uh, we've went about a half a mile uh, and honestly uh, so last night it rained hard last night uh, really for about half the night probably good up until about midnight and then from midnight till six o'clock this morning it rained pretty hard so uh, packed up a wet tent uh, fortunately uh, the big Agnes Tiger Wall too uh, came through for us and everything in the tent uh, was dry uh, but the tent itself is very wet so all in a wet tent but, and you can see it's still overcast foggy and rainy and the problem with that is we're headed up to max patch another 360 degree view and uh, so hopefully it clears off I'm kind of walking as slow as I can uh, but again, you kind of get into a rhythm with your morning things and so I, I took extra time today, but uh, You know, there's only so much you can sit around. There's only so much you can do at a campsite and so packed up and started walking and uh, Like I said, we got a mile and a half We'll take that real slow and try to give it ample time to uh, clear up. Hopefully it will uh, because really like to uh, see this view everyone come the other way has been talking about it for uh, the last week or so so uh, hopefully we get it uh, but if not uh, as we know uh, views continue to pop up so I'm sure if we don't get this one we'll get one later today or tomorrow or, or soon so but anyways uh, uh, we can't stay here because uh, it's just raining on us and there's no sense just standing in the rain. We might as well be hiking in the rain. So let's hike on. All right, Lemon Gap we've already been to. Uh, State Road 182, I think that's like a side trail. Matt's Pat, Max Patch is where we're headed. And so now it's just figuring out which trail. Sometimes they do. Uh, try to confuse you with two very well laid paths. However, this one, thankfully, somebody put the white blaze right there, uh, which isn't always the case. So uh, sometimes you got to walk down them a little farther to find the blaze. Thankfully, here somebody put it right there so we know which way to go. <laughs> Everybody, we're a half a mile from the summit of Max Patch and as you can see it does not look like it's going to clear up so I don't know unless uh, something amazing happens looks like we're gonna miss uh, the great view that everybody's told us about but uh, I guess again that's the challenge of through hiking uh, thankfully, we've got a lot more than we've missed, so. Hmm. But we'll keep hiking slowly in hopes that uh, that amazing thing does happen. Well, we are here at the summit of Max Patch, and unfortunately, But while well, we're up here and we're looking at this campsite, I uh, can talk real quick. Hopefully, you can hear me. I know the wind's blowing. Uh, but I met uh, four hikers yesterday, two couples that were hiking together. 
that uh, tried to camp up here the night before last and uh, it, the wind and gusting wind collapsed their tent and so they had to pick up from here in the middle of the night and head down to that shelter we stayed at last night and so uh, just another uh, just another thought there again this time of year I don't like camping up on uh, elevated locations uh, because the wind is so unpredictable and uh, there's an example of uh, a tent frame uh, that got rearranged in the middle of the night so but uh, again nothing to see up here so I guess there's nothing to do but to keep walking well we are uh, now eh, almost four and a half miles beyond Pat or beyond Max Patch and as you can see the weather's finally starting to break uh, sun's kind of coming out going back coming out but uh, no worries here within the next uh, I think probably half hour to an hour we'll have sun again and we can truly dry out although I think uh, we're not going to truly dry out till we get to camp because uh, we still got to pitch a wet tent and let it dry out so but weather is uh, forecasted to get nicer and it looks like it's almost here so that's a good thing so we're here on top of snowbird peak it is a peak that's at uh, 4,257 feet. And the trail new that we missed, Max, Max, I can't even think of it right now. And so the trail gave us this view. That's pretty cool right there to see the mountains and the clouds intertwine. Nice. Still up on Snowbird Peak. This is looking the other way. Very nice. Let's hike on. Even the way it's supposed to be uh, with the A looking more like a mountain than an A. Perfect. And the flower of the day. Not the purple bearded iris. I'm not sure what it is. We just crossed uh, Davenport Gap. We came underneath uh, I-40. And we are now climbing out of Davenport Gap. We came to this nice waterfall. All right, everybody, we're here at uh, Davenport Gap Shelter. Or we're here at the sign shelters down this pathway uh, just a little bit. And uh, I came up here just to uh, close out because uh, the shelter is probably one of the worst ones I've seen. Uh, there's really no tenting area. There supposedly is, but uh, everyone for the past month or two has been using it as the bathroom area and there's no flat ground there anyways uh, so even if that wasn't the case you couldn't pitch a tent there so we pitched our tent right in front of the shelter that is currently housing about 15 people uh, made for eight ten max uh, so i don't know no privy uh, and uh, just no room for tents so definitely one of the worst I've seen. 
um, but we're here and we'll just make the best of it for tonight and we'll get up early and get on the road tomorrow to make sure we're at the next place early enough to get a good spot or I'm told this is the worst one in the Smokies so hopefully the rest have decent tanning areas so anyways uh, but other than that uh, you know uh, we got shut out of Max Patch, um, but at least Snowbird Peak was nice and got a good scene there and, and uh, restored the day from a viewpoint. Uh, so we'll take that. We'll be happy with it. And uh, we'll get some sleep tonight. And I know tomorrow we've got uh, some good climbs, and so I'm sure we'll get some more good views. So good night. Mm -hmm.